Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can code a Solana sniper bot for free. And trust me, you don't have to know anything about coding. This is the first video of a series, so make sure to subscribe the channel and like this video. Without further ado, let's dive into it. To develop our sniper bot, we have to take some steps. First, we have to find new tokens that recently added to Radium Pool or recently created on Pump.Fun as fast as possible. Because when it comes to Dex Screener, Dex Screener is quite slow. We have to find token contracts as fast as possible. And we use codes to do that. Uh, after finding the contracts, we have to filter them because uh, we have to make sure our wallet is not frozen and we can sell uh, those tokens. If everything uh, was okay, then we have to snipe those tokens uh, quite fast. So this is the workflow that we follow. And in this video, I will show you how you can actually find new tokens using code. Okay, just go to my GitHub page and click on Solana Token Tracker. I will put the link to this GitHub page in the video description. Click on code and download the zip file. Uh, we can actually git clone this repository, but this is the easiest way to clone that. Uh, let me put uh, this repository on my desktop. And now uh, we have to open this in Visual Studio code. If you haven't installed Visual Studio Code, please do it. This is our code editor. Uh, click on File, Open Fuller, and on Desktop, click Solana Token Tracker. Uh, you can see the code in here. If you can see the terminal, uh, click on this option to actually open it. Okay, uh, we have to install some dependencies and to do so, we need node, uh, node.js. Uh, first, make sure you have installed node on your PC or Mac. If you don't, go to node.js.org and download the LTS version. After installing, when you type node slash v, you should see the version number of Node.js. Okay, uh, to install all these repository dependencies, we have to write npm install. And this will automatically install all dependencies. Okay, now it's time to set up our RPC to actually uh, get data from Radium pools uh, on the blockchain. Click, uh, you know, uh, right click and new file uh, .env and we have to put the API keys in here. Okay, uh, I have a sample for you guys. Uh, you have to put data like this. For RPC endpoint, uh, you will see HTTPS. API keys in here and for WebSocket, this is the site and in here the API key. Okay, um, we have to create an account in Helios. This is the service that we use to gain access to uh, actually RPCs. Um, just go to Helios website. I already created a free account. So let me log into that. Click on endpoints. And in here you can see uh, RPC information. Do not share this information with anyone. Actually, I don't use this RPC, so that's the reason I'm sharing with you guys. Uh, copy everything in here. And I have to mention, I'm using the free version. If you prefer a faster service, you can stick with the paid service, the paid version of that. Uh, go to ChatGPT. Paste all the information in here. And let's give our example as well. This is our example. Uh, 
Okay, uh, we can say write this information in the same format. And now ChatGPT will replace all those data and we can use it quite easily. Okay, uh, just go to .env and paste those. Uh, we're all set. Make sure to save this file by, uh, you know, pressing Command and S. And now, as you can see on the README section, uh, we actually installed Node.js. Uh, we cloned the repository. We installed all dependencies. We configured the RPC. And now we can run, uh, you know, this bot. Just uh, go to terminal again, click on this, and paste npx. Uh, Index.ts is actually my main code, and press enter. This actually monitor new Solana tokens that recently added to Radium pool. And as soon as a new token added to Radium, we can see all contract address and information in here in data section and new Solana tokens.json file. As you can see, it found a new token. This is the signature. Let's go to new Solana tokens. We should see this in here. This is the NQ. Okay, this one. And in here, base address, you can see the contract address. Now, let me go to Dex Screener and search for this token. As you can see, you can't find this token because uh, Dex Screener is quite a slow. However, if I go to Solescan and paste this, you can see the token information. Uh, you know, when it comes to uh, different sites like Dex Screener, Bird Eye is much faster. If I paste the contract in here, you can see the chart. Oh, uh, this is interesting. Okay, now you can see this. Uh, you may ask why uh, this token is older than one minute. Uh, the reason is this token graduated from pump.fun website. In pump.fun, when tokens reach to a certain market cap, uh, we call them, uh, these tokens graduated. And when they reach to that certain market cap, then their liquidity will add to radium. So before that, we can see the token information on our bot because um, as I told you, the token has not graduated and has not added to radium. But as soon as it graduates, we can see the contract in here. In the future, we'll show you how you can actually find pump.fun tokens as soon as one of them created. Uh, but when it, most of these tokens will go to zero and uh, you know they can't even graduate. But when it comes to some tokens that usually graduate, they usually uh, can uh, attract so many people and those uh, pools could be a better option to use, for example, a sniper bots. Um, let me check the signature in here as well. Okay, we have a new token in here. Let me copy that. Go to Solescan. Okay, even uh, the Solescan uh, was not able to, you know, find this because it takes time to load this signature. This bot is super fast. This is uh, great. Let me go to new Solana token again. Find this contract address. Okay, new tokens in here. This is the YVL, okay, this is the contract address. Now let's go to Dex Screener again. As you can see, there is no token. It doesn't show that, it takes time. 
but if I go to bear die you can see this new token this is actually I think from pump.fun as well so uh, yeah you can see the chart and we have to paste this many times to find the token on Dick's screener it really takes time again let me remove and paste now you can see the token oh my god by using code we were able to find this quite fast but as you can see Dex screener is quite slow i really hope you found this video helpful this was the first episode of uh, the uh, sniper bots series uh, in the next videos i will show you how to filter these tokens to ensure you wouldn't uh, get rugged and then how you can snipe them early. Cheers viewers, hope to see you in my next videos.